Assalamu alaikum viewers, welcome to my channel Genome Wild Study. If you are new on my channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon. So you will get the notification of all the new videos. In this video, we will try to learn that how we can prepare the file for constructing the KAGG analysis enrichment bubble plot. And then after preparing that file, then we will construct the KAGG enrichment bubble plot. So how to do? Let's start. So this is the data that we have got by doing the KEGG analysis. If you want to know that how we can do the KEGG analysis, the link of that video is present in the video description and also you can find it at the end video screen. So you can follow that step and then do the KEGG enrichment analysis. And after that, after getting that file like uh, this one, so you will get this file. So that contains biosynthesis pathway, and this is the path, uh, pathway, and uh, this is the genes involved in that pathway, and this is the enrichment p value and in enrichment value, and these are the genes that were involved in this pathway like this. But by constructing the bubble plot, we only need the pathway, enrichment value, p value, and the gene name. And we simply uh, named it that this is the pathway, so we name it pathway. So this is the main class, so we didn't need this, so we delete it. And this is the gene hits, so we didn't need this. We need this all that genes. So here is the we name it counts. And here is the gene hits background. We didn't need so delete it. This one all genes in background we didn't need so delete it. This is a p value. Okay, this is the enrichment. Yes, we need this in and by name it enrichment. And these are the gene names. We didn't need so we delete it and this column we also delete it but the arrangement of these columns is pathway after that we put the enrichment value at the in the second column and then in the third column we put the p values and then in the fourth column we for the counts. Now you select all these values and then copy and open the browser and open the link that bioinformatics.com.cn slash plot basic go pathway enrichment bubble plot. The link of this website is also present in the video description. You can open it and directly go to this page. And then here is the required input data. You only paste that you have recently copied from the Excel sheet. Here are some options that figure width you can increase it up to 12. Here you can height maybe 8, 9, or 10. Here title font size, legends, title font size. You can increase it or keep it as it is as you are. Here is a title name, so you give the title of your analysis that KEGG pathway or KEGG enrichment analysis. Here is the at the x axis label enrichment, y axis label is pathway, and then from here is the smaller value color will be green you can change it by clicking it on it so change it anyone green red or blue or whatsoever that you want and here is a red like here also if you want the value in the p value or in the log 10 better to use that default and the point size and then this order that in which order that will come 
column four big small column four big small anyone that you can choose it and then here is the font you can choose it and then click on submit so here is our bubble plot so you can also change the figure width and height by make it more visible or from here the font size or type to make it more visible after that you can save it by clicking on it tiff or pdf any format you can download it and then you can use it into your manuscript or any a purpose so this is all about how we can construct the bubble figure of our KEGG enrichment analysis. But if you want to know that how we can do the KEGG enrichment analysis of our protein or protein family, the video of that, the link of that video is present in the description or you can also find it at the end screen. Hopefully it will help you. Thank you.